of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Greetings, honored graduates of the class of 2020, families and friends. I hope this message finds you safe and healthy. Without a doubt, you are the most unique graduating class in the history of the Los Angeles Community College District. The COVID-19 public health emergency has changed our lives, changed our world, and you have worked through more challenges than any previous graduating class. So take pride in what you have accomplished and celebrate our theme for today, resilient times for brilliant minds. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, our nine college presidents, and our faculty and professional staff, I want to say thank you. Thank you for sticking with LACCD during these difficult times. Thank you for staying true to yourself and achieving great things. Thank you for being determined to make a difference in your life. And remember, the circumstances that we find ourselves in today are temporary. This is not your destiny. You've made it this far and you have shown your tenacity and commitment, but your work is far from over. Let me challenge you. Let this be your first college degree, not your last. In my 35 years in higher education, I've learned that the students who succeed are the ones who are not afraid to fail, who stick with it, who are resilient, who persist. A fierce mindset more than anything else determines who succeeds. And I have the utmost faith and confidence that you will succeed. Today, there are two quotes that I love and I want to share with you. The first is from the former president of Liberia, Ellen Sirleaf Johnson, who said, the size of your dreams should always exceed your grasp. If your dreams don't scare you, they're not big enough. The second quote is from Mark Twain. The two most important days in your life are the day that you were born and the day that you figured out why. And I believe today is another positive step towards figuring out why. Today, I also want to send a special word of thanks to your parents, your families, and your partners. Whether it's help with cooking, cleaning, childcare, or even letting you use the Wi-Fi to complete your classes, they have been an important part of your life. They too are graduating today. I also want to acknowledge our faculty and professional staff who've gone above and beyond to keep your education moving forward 
during these unprecedented times. And of course, thanks to our Board of Trustees and our college administrators who have been great partners every single step of the way. As I close, I urge you to always be an inspiration to others and to give back to your community. Whether you know it or not, you are already a role model. You are an inspiration to me and to many others. I believe too that there's a universal law in life, and that is that the more you help others succeed, the more success will find you. Finally, I often use the term LAC City Proud when describing our students, and I couldn't be more proud of you today for what you have accomplished and how you have done it. This class of students, yes, this class of 2020 is simply amazing. You truly are the best of us. With my sincere admiration and respect, congratulations. Muchas felicidades a los alumnos de la clase de 2020. Siempre adelante. Good afternoon, graduates, family members, friends, and distinguished guests. My name is Scott Svonkin, and on behalf of the trustees of the Los Angeles Community College Board, I want to wish you congratulations to the class of 2020. Today, your achievement is remarkable. You've graduated during the COVID pandemic. Your hard work, determination, has allowed you to make an unprecedented transition from the classroom to the computer. You went from in live learning to online learning. And why am I speaking to you from today, tonight from my home? is because of the COVID pandemic. I would like to begin by thanking everyone that made this ceremony possible. And most importantly, I wanna thank your support system, your family, your friends, and your loved ones. I am so very honored to be here today to join you in celebrating this important and monumentous occasion. I share your excitement. Why? Because only a few years ago, I walked across the stage just like you, graduating with the class of 2016 from Pasadena City College. I can tell you honestly the power of community college because I'm living proof that community college can turn your life around. It took me 30 years to get my AA. I am certain that my elementary school principal and all of my classmates from kindergarten through high school would be surprised to know Scott Svonkin was addressing a college graduation. The reason for that is I was a high school dropout. And as my mother tells the story, I dropped out of elementary school. But that's not the end of my story. And today is not gonna be the end of your story either. I, like many of you, got a second chance and I enrolled in a community college. Attending community college turned my life around. It provided me the skills and confidence to attend Cal State University Northridge, where I committed to work diligently to prepare for my future. After college, I began a career in public service, working for the late, great Mayor Tom Bradley. I then went on to be Chief of Staff for a member of the California Legislature, and then worked for the LA County Sheriff's Department, and today, the Los Angeles County Probation. So don't ever let anyone tell you you can't do it. I, Scott Svonkin, am living proof that you can do anything you want with hard work and determination. You can go from being a high school dropout like me to serving on the governing board of the largest community college system in the nation. If you do what I did, you go to community college and you pursue your dreams. Before I conclude, I wanna give a special congratulations to the students and families of the Dr. Richard Vladovic Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy. Dr. V is an amazing leader in your community and he and the LA Unified School Board have the best high school anywhere at the Harbor Teacher Preparation Academy named after the great public servant, Dr. Richard Vladovic. And finally, I would like to leave you with some thoughts for the times such as now, when you need a little help, a little support, you need to put in a little extra effort, you need family and friends. Follow your passion. Do what you love. Do what you care about and take that passion to work, 
to school, or wherever you go, the one message I'd like to leave you from today is that with perseverance, you can achieve anything. You work hard and you can do anything. Why? Because Harbor College has prepared you for your future, to go out and achieve your dreams. Harbor College and the Los Angeles Community College District will always be here for you. So please remember, tell your friends, be a proud alumnus of Harbor College, and tell them Community College prepared you for your future. I have all the confidence in the world that you'll be successful and that your education will launch you into the great future you dream of. And why? Because Harbor College got you ready. And because of you, Harbor College is a better place and so is our community. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America. Hey, everybody, it's Governor Gavin Newsom. And first partner, Jennifer Siebel Newsom. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you. This is a remarkable feat. We know it wasn't easy, especially in the past few months, having to adjust to online learning, probably moving out of your dorms. Um, some of you being the first in your families to graduate, we know that this isn't what you imagined this day would look like and feel like, uh, but you're here, you did it. We're so proud of you. And no one can take it away from you. And I know you're filled, a lot of us are filled with a little bit of fear, a little bit of anxiety about this being the new normal. It is not the new normal. We'll get through this, but we have to get through it together. And I love to say, because it's true, no one stands taller than when he or she bends down on one knee to help lift other people up. I think if there's anything in life you can do is see the world from a different set of eyes, not just your own. Be a little more empathetic, a little bit more compassionate, and if you are, uh, together, we'll get through this much sooner than you think. So take care of yourselves. Be proud of yourselves. We cannot wait to see what you do for California in the days to come. Congratulations. Congrats to the class of 2020. Family and friends, parents and loved ones, Chancellor Rodriguez, Board President Hoffman and trustees, college presidents, and most importantly, LACCD class of 2020. Congratulations. I know how much you've sacrificed to get here, how hard you've worked, and how much this day means to you and your families. So today is a celebration of you. We couldn't be more proud of you, your tenacity, your resilience, everything that you've achieved. And this is your moment. Nothing can take away from that. I know this is not how any of us imagined it would look. You expected to be cheering on your friends and classmates as they walked across the stage. You expected a cap and gown and parties and pictures, and you expected to be stepping into a much brighter world, a more certain future. But instead, you've turned in caps and gowns for masks and gloves, and you're stepping into a moment of fear and uncertainty unlike anything in our lifetimes. Let's be honest, this is not what you signed up for. Each of you came to community college to learn and explore, to prepare you for what you'd accomplish someday. Maybe you came back to college after working in the trades to become an engineer so that someday you'd be ready to solve an important problem and build it. Maybe you came to campus to become an artist so that someday you'd be ready to inspire and to help the world find meaning in chaos. Or maybe you came here to start a journey in science and nursing and medicine so that you could save someone's life or find the cure to a disease someday. But now in the fog of this pandemic, that day may be harder for you to see. You're not the first generation to prepare for one reality and confront another one altogether. But now it's your generation facing up to a moment of extraordinary uncertainty. And it's your turn to decide not only how you will lead the response today, but how we will build a stronger world tomorrow. We like to think that people are supposed to learn from the best of times, but history is actually written by what we've done in the worst of times. Not the moments we hoped for, but those we never asked for and how we stepped up. Not the blissful days, but the hardest moments of our lives and the ways we get through them. Moments like this define you and define us. This is what one of the greatest Angelinos, Vin Scully, called the life of the world. The reality that your days will not all be black and white and high or low, that you'll have moments where you have to live in the gray areas and navigate the space between borders. Those are the times when you're training your growing, your studying and preparation are put to the test. This is your defining moment. 
for you and your generation, for all of us. But it's your responsibility to define it, to move through it and to move forward, to emerge from this time with a resilience that carries you forward to the next steps of your education and career, a power that will not only change you, but help us transform our city and country and our world. In your time at Community College, your classes and professors gave you the tools to see what's broken around you, and your experiences gave you the strength to fix it. And now, your completion of Community College is a brand new invitation to not only help lead us through the COVID-19 crisis, but to heal other festering wounds this virus has laid bare. The health crisis of homelessness, the global emergency of a planet on fire, the moral decay of an economy that leaves too many people behind. And while we don't know what the months ahead will bring, we do know that this is the someday that each of you has been preparing for. That is now. You are prepared to serve, prepared to serve with words of wisdom, with art and advocacy, prepared to let this crisis transform you and transform each of our lives. And I know that you will do that. You have it in you because you've already done it. You've taken long trips from home to class, from school to work. You've supported families and children. You've taken the unlikely journey from the dream of completion to making it a reality. And for some of you, college seemed impossible because of money, because you'd be the first, and that can be scary, because classes could take you away from working or helping your family, but you persevered. This semester was unprecedented, but you and your professors and the entire LACCD family rose to the occasion, making the changes necessary to bring you to this bright day. Of course, as you continue down your path, there will be new challenges. But if you're worried about how you're going to follow through on your plans to transfer, we're here to help. Go to coronavirus.lacity.org slash college connect to get in touch with counselors about your next phase. And if you plan to use your certificate or your AA, but worry your industry won't be adding jobs, our work source centers are here for you as a city, as a community, and as your mayor. I need you to know that no matter what this crisis brings, your dreams don't end with your completion of community college. This is only the beginning. We need you to help us respond and to recover from COVID-19 and then to rebuild our city and reimagine its future. Because once you get through this, you will see that the times of loss and struggle give meaning to everything else in life that comes next. And you will learn that you have the tools, the talent, the resilience to overcome difficult days and to create something better, fuller, and more joyous. LACCD Class of 2020, we need each other more than ever. We need your drive and determination. We need your heart and your hope and we need it right now. So on behalf of the four million angels in this city of angels, we congratulate you. We can't wait to fly alongside you. Great job, a job well done. Here's to you on this special day and to great days ahead. Congratulations to the LA Community College District Class of 2020. We wish we could all be with you together today to celebrate this incredible milestone in your young lives. Now, I remember being on campus with some of you back in November and feeling the energy that drives our community colleges. Uh, they're America's secret weapon, as Joe would say, in the education system. As a community college teacher myself, I know how hard you work and how much you do to get your degree. And I'll tell you what I tell my students, if you can make it through this, you can make it through anything. No, we have a real opportunity to come out of this crisis stronger than we've ever been. And you're gonna be a big part of that. So congratulations again to all of the LA Community College District graduates and to all of your families. I can't wait to see everything you're gonna achieve. We need you, we wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's get loud for our class of 2020. Thank you for joining us. And we welcome all of you to this very special halftime show during our virtual recognition ceremony. Our halftime gives us a chance to honor our students through musical performances to the class of 2020. This halftime show is for you. Everybody look up and 
feel the hope that we've been waiting for. Everybody's glad because we're sad.
las armas ¡Cuá! Para aquellos que nos contaminan ¡Cuá! Para aquellos que hacen la guerra ¡Cuá! Para aquellos que viven pecando ¡Cuá! Para aquellos que nos maltratan ¡Cuá! Para aquellos que nos contagian ¡Cuá!
Greetings, class of 2020. I am Otto Lee, president of LA Harbor College. On behalf of the faculty, administration, and staff, I want to congratulate you on the completion of your studies. I wish I was with you in person and shake your hand as you walk across the stage. But I have looked at all of your pictures and I remember many of you on campus. I know it's been very difficult, but when I see all of you, I know that without a doubt, you may not be the biggest class, may not be the tallest class, but for sure, you are the best looking class of 2020. I know what you have gone through, it's been very difficult, but you have met and conquered the challenges. I immigrated to the United States and I did not know a word of English. I was the first in my family to attend college and to graduate. I know what it's like to have to translate for your parents, to get up early, to get your little sister ready for school, go to school, come back, get the dinner ready while your parents are doing multiple jobs. And then after dinner, go off to your own job. And then when you get home at midnight, that's when you get to your own studying and writing work term papers. But you've done it. And I am so proud of you. But you had support along the way. So please recognize and thank your loved ones, your family, and your friends. You have earned something very unique and special. As life progresses, you may lose your job. God forbid, you may even lose your phone, but you will never ever lose the education and the degree that you've earned today. So walk out proudly. Always remember that you are part of the Harbor family. Some of you may have taken our Humanities course 006, Great People, Great Ages. I invite you to come back and help us rewrite this class because this is a new time, a great time, and we're waiting for leaders like you to emerge and take us into a great future. Once again, congratulations Felicidades. Hello, I'm Van Cheney, Academic Senate President for Los Angeles Harbor College. I would like to now introduce to you, Mr. Byron Smith, the 2020 Golden Apple Award recipient. Byron J. Smith, a Gardena, California native, has been a faculty member of Los Angeles Harbor College for over 35 years. He earned his Bachelor of Music Education degree from California State University, Long Beach, and his Master of Music degree from California State University, Los Angeles. Professor Smith brings his vast music industry experience to his students specializing in the commercial music field. He teaches music industry courses such as 
the business of commercial music, songwriters workshop, theory, choir, and both commercial and classical piano and voice. Professor Smith freelances as a music director, studio musician, arranger, and producer. He's a versatile musician whose experiences span the gamut of all styles of music and has worked with a variety of artists ranging from Barbara Streisand to Akon. He is a composer of the award-winning musical Children of the Night, where he won the NAACP Theater Image Award for Best Original Score and Music Direction. Other accolades include the Outstanding Artistic Vision Award by the Black Business Association of Los Angeles and an honoree of the Heritage Music Foundation in tribute to West Coast gospel music. Professor Smith is the owner of Onyx Music Publishing. His choral works are performed worldwide by ensembles of all ages and styles. He is the immediate past president of the 101-year-old African-American Musicians Organization, the National Association of Negro Musicians Incorporated, and serves on many boards and committees. Beyond all these achievements, his greatest gig has been fostering the careers of young musicians here at Los Angeles Harbor College. He takes pride in enlightening the minds of talented music students to the countless opportunities of a vast world of music. Now, again, I'd like you to introduce to you Mr. Byron Smith. Thank you, Professor Van Cheney. Let me express my appreciation to you and the Academic Senate for this amazing honor. There is nothing more special than being recognized by your peers. For this, I'm truly grateful. I come to you to offer a charge to the graduates. If I mention a word charge to my students, their first thought is finding a place to plug in and charge their mobile devices. My task or charge today is to give you words of encouragement as you begin a new chapter in your life. I began writing this speech a few months ago, but with the world's current situation, a rewrite was in order. Every day we are staring at our televisions, waiting for a list of limitations being issued by our government leadership. It's like waiting for the whiz to tell us the color of the day. For this reason, it is extremely difficult to plan for the future. I am sure that many of you are planning on continued education at a four-year university. As you know, most institutions have announced only online classes in the fall. I am sure you're disappointed and no one is more devastated than I am. I'm exhausted trying to keep my students engaged while they lie comfortably on their beds. I'm a firm believer that everything happens for a reason. If there is a generation that would have to experience times like these, you are the ones who can be successful. Try to remember what it took to get to this day. Think of how much work you had to do to pass all your classes. Think of how difficult it's been to juggle life at home and get to school. My charge to you is to stay plugged into your goals. Sometimes the outlet puts you in the back of the room. Sometimes you need an extension cord to reach it. But what's most important is to stay plugged into your dreams, your goals, and your aspirations. For each and every day brings a new challenge, but it can also bring a bigger opportunity. For I'm sure that the colors of tomorrow will be bright, no matter what the whiz says. At this time, I'd like to introduce Jessica McCarns, our current ASO president. Hello, graduating class of 2020. My name is Jessica McCarns, and over the past year, I have had the privilege and honor of being your student government president. Today, we celebrate a monumental occasion. On this day, we realized that we were capable, that we were strong enough, and that we made it here. Each and every one of us have a story and a place where we started and a place where we are meant to be. Today is a turning point in each and every one of our stories. And at this point, just know that every obstacle and every hardship that you encountered was worth it. But this is only a turning point. The future holds experiences and lessons that we will each soon come to know. In the words of Michelle Obama, don't ever underestimate the importance that you can have because history has shown that courage can be contagious and hope can take on a life of its own. I believe in our students and know that this hope resides in each one of us and will create a life all its own, if you allow it to. Just know the days ahead will not be easy because nothing in life worth anything is. Keep fighting, keep pushing forward. The only one that can stop your progression is you. I hope we all follow our dreams because through hard work and dedication, 
you truly can achieve anything. In conclusion, we need to remember we didn't do this alone. There are so many programs, but for me personally, I would like to thank EOPS and CalWORKS. Without the help of these programs, I would not be standing in front of you today as the ASO president, a STEM major, receiving five associate's degrees with 3.0 GPA. Thank you for your attention. Now I would like to introduce the awesome Vice President of Student Services, Luis Dorado. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Luis Dorado, Vice President of Student Services and EWD. Before I begin, I would like to take this moment to thank and recognize all our graduating veterans. A grateful nation thanks you. Thank you for your service. Many of you started two, maybe three years ago with the goal to transfer to a university of your dream. Today, I can say that many of you have succeeded in accomplishing this goal. Congratulations to all our transfer students. In today's virtual ceremony, we would also like to recognize Harvard College's Distinguished Honors Award graduates. The Distinguished Honors Award is one of the most significant and highest academic honor a student can achieve. In order to receive the prestigious award, a graduate must petition for the associate degree, complete at least 50% of all units for the degree at Harvard College, and achieve a 3.7 grade point average or better on all college work attempts. Our Distinguished Honors Award page in our program identifies all our distinguished graduates. Their names in the program will also have a star by next year. Congratulations, Distinguished Honors Award graduates. At this moment, I would like to introduce our Vice President of Academic Affairs, Dr. Bobby Villalobos. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Bobby Villalobos, Vice President of Academic Affairs. I would like to congratulate all the graduates in the class of 2020. Earning a degree or certificate is a significant accomplishment and proves you can achieve any goals you set for yourself. I wish you all success in your future endeavors. It is now time to recognize the 2020 candidates for graduation. It is time to award the diplomas. Assisting in this process will be Academic Senate President Van Cheney and Academic Senate Vice President William Hernandez. My name is Van Cheney, Academic Senate President for Los Angeles Harbor College. I'm proud now to introduce to you the students who are the 2020 candidates for graduation. Mia Acevedo. Joano Acertil. Kathleen Acuna. Cameron Adams. Ayoa Edinrian, Manuel Atuponte, Ryan Akasalio, Margaret Aguilar, Gabriela Aguirre, Yuri Alcaraz. Yolanda Alape, Diane Alexander, Gabriel Alto Irano Itewa, Emily Alvarado Lulagran, Adriana Alvarez, Faith Amacor. Eduardo Ambriz As Petia, Tasia Amos, Maria Anduaga, Christopher Arazo, Patricia Armenta, Jorge Arredondo. Leslie Ariola, Amarani Alaya, Priscilla Alaya, Kamal Badisha, 
Michelle Banales, Diana Benzuelos, Juan Barba, Leah Barnum, Jason Barone, Joanna Megan Bato Pasgoin, David Bautista Jr., Giovanna Benzafri, Kyra Benedicto, Jonathan Bibbs, Sebastian Bogner, Wendy Barroquez, Joe Catherine Bokin Quito, James Booker, Gianu Orlewell, Anna Cabrero, Rayanne Tabaran, Katrina Marie. Kachala, Sarah Calderon, Laura Campbell, Christina Connell, Sasha Cardenas, Jacob Castillo, Marlene Castillo. Yasmin Castillo, Kyla Cotton, Jayan Shane Zidana, Flor de Maria Cerna, Natalia Chavez, Grace Cleary. Neralyn Coaching, Anthony Cortez, Bruce Costa, Miles Christotomo, Chio Kanainen, Francisco Curiel. Alahana Dominique Deling, Luca Demicelli, Zachary Danzel, Kaylee Dansby, Wendelin David, Amber Davis. Fabiola De La Cruz, Jacqueline De La Cruz, Maria De La Rosa, Fernanda De Paula, Christian De Reza, Robin Dean. Evan De Borba, Eva Delgado, Janine De Torrio, Joshua Dominguez, Sari Donald, Delicia Dry. Tiffany Duarte, Elena Duenas, Diane Daichi, Angelina Escobar, Yesenia Esparza, Genesis 
Espinoza, Elaine Estrada, Alia Ivitsen, Adarim Fatunumi, Dominic Fernandez, Argelia Figueroa, Britti Fritton, Sheena Flores, Pedro Flores, Perla Flores, Tracy Fulci, Steve Foryoung, Charlene May Frankel, Rachel Frosto Cortez, Aisha Gaines, Sedona Gallardo, Eric Garcia, Eric Martin Garcia, Janet Garcia, Christina Garcia, Michael Garcia, Roquel Garcia, Ruby Garcia, Stephen Garcia, Evelyn Garcia Vasquez, Matthew Griffey, Vanessa Gibson, Dijani Gilliard Price, Murray Gurgis, Wendy Geron, Alejandra Gomez, Alyssa Gomez, Ashley Gomez, Maya Gomez, Shalon Gong, Delmi Gonzalez, Ariana Gonzalez, Ginny Gonzalez, Maria Gonzalez Escamilia, Dorlisa Good, Avul Gungab. Shana Gorum, Adrian Guzman, Olivia Haro, Arsana Harris, Special Harris, Stuart Heineman. Cassandra Heredia Gonzalez, Gabriela Hernandez, Samantha Hernandez, Aaron Hobach, Bachmeg Hawking, Raymond. Holgren, Taylor Holgren, Kyla Houston, Carolyn Hoyt, 
Ariana Angelica Huerta. Stephanie Huerta. Eldia Ibarra. Genesis Chicobo. Gisela James. Josiah Jefferson. Isop Young. Rez Jerish. Victor Jimenez. Megan Johnson. Susan Jones. Deborah Jordan. Jesse Kelly. Lauren Kleeb. Yui Kuzushi. Tiffany Kwa. Lukia Alande. Betty Londeros. Diane Abigail Londeros. Janelle Liano. Shaneka Lagardi. Kyla Lagayada. Josephine Leomidi. Jocelyn Laos. Tyona Lewis. Andrew Lloyd. Gabriella Loera. Andrea Lopez. Ezekiel Lopez. Lea Lorenzana. Valerie Lozano. Monique Lazagaria. Good evening, class of 2020. My name is William Hernandez. I am an associate professor of Spanish in the Academic Senate Vice President at Los Angeles Harbor College. Tonight is your night to be recognized for your determination, your courage, your perseverance, and your achievement. I extend my warm and sincere congratulations to all of you. You've made it, and we are extremely proud. Cynthia Madrigal. Onyechi Maduaco. Angelica Madagan. Gabriela Magdaleno. Lizette Candelaria Manzano Anguiano. Jesse Marinero. Luis Angel Mariscal. Jessica Martin. Rebecca Martin. Carlota Martinez. Gabriela Martinez. Julie Martinez. Sarah Matuatia. Jessica McCarns. Molly McGettigan. Cassandra McIlwain. Darnett Kelly McManus. Thelma Mejia. Catherine Melendez. Jesse Melendez. 
Kimberly Melendez. Destiny Metallo. Crystal Micho. Matthew Millard. Beverly Miller. Christopher Miller. Marian Yesenia Mineros. Raul Moncada. Cameron Monroy Scott. Sarah Montelongo. Gavino Mora. Myra Morales. Melanie Morales. Priscilla Moran. Jessica Moya. James Munz. Jasmine Murillo. Jason Murillo. Elia Nezhad. Nu Wen. Tana Nabue. Lillian Novoa Carrillo. Devito Oduzanya. Stella Okoro. Nancy Ontiveros. Marilyn Orantes. Jasmine Ordonez. Josie Ornelas. Abril Orozco Espinosa. Jasmine Pacheco. Joseph Pacheco. Alexa Pasina. Gilberto Padilla. Miriam Edith Paez Mendia. Marilyn Paiva. Jocelyn Pantoja. Christopher Partida. Mariana Partida. Stephanie Kim Peña. Alyssa Nicole Perez. Claudia Perez. Griselda Perez. Jennifer Perez. Lizette Perez. Vanessa Perez. Daniel Perez Miranda. Vanessa Pineda. Giorgio Pisano. Rodrigo Pito. Ignacio Prado Jr. Wendy Prieto. Jose Giovanni Quevedo. Alexis Van Kibote. Ashley Quintero. Marisa Quintero. Daisy Ramirez. 
Joshua Ramirez Liliana Ramirez Alma Ramirez Martinez Kira Ray Jessica Regalado Stephanie Rentería John Zachary Ritodo David Reyes Joseph Reyes Luis Reyes Monica Reyes Daniel Rice Lance Rich Cindy Rios Nadia Rios Ashley Rivas Parisa Rivera Francisco Rizzo Takesha Robinson Johan Rodella Cristina Rodriguez Iars Rodriguez Jasmine Rodriguez Maria Rodriguez Paul Rodriguez Frank Rodiz Javier Romero Andres Romo Diana Rosas George Rosas Carlos Ruelas Mahinda Rupa Saraj Nicole Russell Eva Sainz Ropeti Samaeli Ariana Christine Sanchez Anaid Sandoval Estefani Santiago Natalie Saucedo Lidia Cedillo Victor Serafín Kimberly Serrano Catherine Shepherd, Kaeli Silverio, Kiana Simpson, Trinell Smith, Elvia Karen Solis Orozco, Amanda Solis. Steven Solozano Isabella Sanco Gabriela Soria Brianna Stenko Alicia Strasser Valerie Stuckey Victoria Suggs Mitchell Tan Elizabeth Tapia Tanya Tossi Rachel 
Tolby. Miracle, Thomas. Stephanie, Torres. Maria, Torres, Haruegui. Kellyanne, Torres. Andrea, Trejo. Kristen, Troke. Brian Turner. Gabrielle Ungab. Julia Utter. Catherine Valdez Gomez. Diana Valverde. Emmanuel Zachary Vargas. Michelle Vasquez, Selena Beatriz Vega, Alexis Angelica Vera, Charlotte Vidales, Ivan Villavicencio, Katrina Vital. Jamie Weber, Ronald Wicks, Sarita M. Williams, Melissa Williams, Patrick Williams, Shanice Williams. Margaret Wilmot May Yasumaru Brittany Joy Young Ashley Yu Haley Yuyama Christina Zamora Cynthia Zaragoza Brenda Zavala Monica Zuniga This concludes our virtual ceremony for today. Thank you for joining us best wishes, and again, congratulations and felicidades from LA Harbor College.